kitty. Wait, go back down. What does that cat look like? It looks like Phoenix. Holy <laughs> shit. Is that porch cat? It looks like It looks Phoenix. exactly like the porch cat that... It's <laughs> the cat that keeps showing up on our porch. <laughs> yes. That is so creepy. That is... Whoa, dude. It left that when door open. I picked open. it up, it was over here. I ask myself that question a lot whenever I see something that I see in my everyday travels, and I'm just like, what is that thing anyway? Like, what? Like, what's the deal? Also, kitty. Uh, <laughs> Vega. It's like, what is this thing? It's a fur baby, and his name is Vega. He's a big, chunky lad. He's and, a chunk. And he loves, and he loves the pets. Big old loaf. Yes, he is. I was going to say, he don't make biscuits, he makes loaves. <laughs> He's a food panda. Yes, he is. Food. Look at that. Oh, He's the a trash compactor because he always acts like he just takes whatever he eats and just wants a whole bunch more. Yeah. But. Yeah, uh, he was mad at me because I wouldn't let him in the room because our cats were eating. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, nope. He's like, what's your problem? I'm like, like, like food's I'm not about. for you, buddy. <laughs> He's like, I want food too. <laughs> But let me ask you this. Have y'all ever seen something that you see on a more on a fairly rate oh he flopped over. <laughs> what? That, that y'all see on like a regular basis and you're just like, I wonder what that is. And it's just like it, you, you see it and you think about it and mm -hmm. it's like, I don't really know what that is. What is that thing? And why why is it there? It's just like uh brush guards on certain things. It's just like, why is there a brush guard on this? I've never seen like uh, for instance, when I was a young, when I was younger, I didn't understand the concept of mud flaps on trucks. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Why are there? Like, Dad, your truck doesn't have those. Why? Why are they on that one? And he's like, "Don't bite through the cable." Oh. He was. He was trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it's not food. It's gonna be like <laughs> lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, like, um, natural lamp. He was like, shomp. <clears throat> exactly. I was like, no. I, I saw him, like, open his mouth, like, around the cable. I'm like, no, don't uh, do that. I've seen him do, like, the corner of his teeth, but he straight up went, no. Yeah, <laughs> let's like, not do no. that, dude. Yeah, don't, yeah, no bueno there, Vega. So. That tells you that he really wishes he could have a snack. Oh, yeah. It's just like a mind chew on just doing. So, we have a video don't here you called. Don't eat that box. Called. Don't you eat that box. No. <laughs> The video is called Don't You Eat That Box? <laughs> Just kidding. I need to share that as like a as like a short. It's like, <laughs> don't you eat that box. Don't you eat that box! <laughs> Just... yeah. Sounds really wrong too. <laughs> Innuendo. <laughs> But no, he just likes to chew on cardboard. I can see how that could be used in so many memes. It's just... <laughs> Do it, Nate. Oh. Okay. Okay. I get... No, I'll Impact. just... I'll say it, I'll say it. Oh. No, that'll get me canceled now that I think about it. Yeah, just... just yeah, let's just it. go. <laughs> It had something to do with what I was to say. Oh, God. Censor that part, even. They don't need to know that. Post-production, Nate. Please <laughs> censor that. What's this thing that you always see on an escalator? Yeah, I've always wondered what the purpose <clears> of that <throat> thing actually is. It helps keep shoes, dresses, handbags, etc. from getting snagged in the tiny gap at the side. I use them as a little shoe shine too. I'm glad I'm not the only one that did that with those. Yeah, I same. found this metal object, no text or numbers, can retract to be the size of a bracelet. Okay. I feel like I've seen something like this before. I like that it has a huh. little cap on top. Oh, it's the top closure part of a purse or small handbag? Well, color me learned. Ooh. What is this lizard? That. It bit it me on a beach in like Naples. Oh, that's the infinite death lizard. You're gonna die for infinity. <laughs> Looks like a 
a Cuban night. Is that word? Uh, no, it, yeah. it doesn't really matter. But hey, I think we're going to learn a lot today. Security camera recorded this guy knocking on my door late at night. What's this in his hand? Huh? An old phone. <laughs> old, uh, it old could be radio. someone hunting dogs. Sometimes the dogs will track animals onto others' land <laughs> and must be found with tracking devices. May have just been asking permission to search for their animals. This is common in my area. Hmm. Okay. So, I, I've actually seen a, a radio thing like that before. It was, uh, th this is, uh, huh, this will make you feel old. You remember those cable boxes back in the day? Uh, there were, there were those out there that people modified and made, like, the black boxes that could basically get every channel mm -hmm. on the, uh, like, on, like, the digital cable networks. Yeah, they ran, uh, ads about how that was illegal. Yeah. I knew people who had some of those, and needless to say, I watched some some stuff on there, some spicy stuff. Mm, uh, some stuff. <clears throat> well, um, uh, that's that's a whole story. I don't know if I want to get into, but I don't think you can. but it's not but, worth it. but there's a uh, but there was a story. It was on the uh, Rooster Teeth animated adventures. Jeff went out to hang with his uh, his cousin in Nashville, and they had a black box, and they got to watch like all like the most like most recent movies that just were in theaters and everything and he's like oh my gosh this is amazing and then all of a sudden they hear in the backyard they hear beep 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 what the hell is that noise beep beep they look out the window and there's a dude out there uh with like a with like a radio device and he's like pointing it around at the houses and it's just like beep beep and they're like i wonder what the hell is he's, do he's doing all of a sudden, he points the device at Jeff's cousin's house. Beep, 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 beep. Uh -oh. They're like, uh-oh. Did he work for the uh, cable company? Apparently so. Because oh, all of a sudden, he starts walking towards their house. And uh, all of a sudden, Jeff's cousin goes over and, and he unplugs the TV. And he unplugs the cable box. Jeff was watching the guy. He was, he was like, it was going, beep, 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 beep. Unplugs it, beep, beep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and just turned around and walked away. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Jeff says he doesn't think they ever got busted for it, but still, just to know that there were people out there looking for it. Yeah. That's yeah. that to me is hilarious. Anyway. An old radio frequency tracker. Well, I mean, looking at it, you can tell it's old at the very least. Yeah, no this shit. is a silly band, but I have no idea oh. what animal slash thing it's supposed to be. Scared me, it might be turned the wrong way? No, I can't figure that one out. I'm incredibly excited for such a mundane object to be totally stumping the sub for once. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those those jelly bracelet things? I think so. I just don't know what animal that is. It looks like Godzilla with a boner. There's Godzilla. There's his tail. And then there's the the unit. Oh my god. Not, I'm kind of questioning if it's even supposed to be an animal. I don't know. <clears throat> I really don't know. But I, I'm sorry. I can't not see it now. I, I can't not see it. Oh, no, I have I, I have nothing for you here. Boise, Idaho. I have no idea. Wait, hang on. Go back. Could it be that it was supposed to be turned upside down, like directly upside down, and it was supposed to be a seahorse or something? I else was next thinking seahorse, but I, don't I know. see it. I see what you're saying. Maybe. It might There's be no one telling. of those things where you don't really know 100% what it was supposed to be unless you saw the original artwork it's, it was based on. All I'll say is it's a thing. I think. <laughs> Once. <laughs> Seahorse wielding a sword. I don't know. I have, yeah. I have nothing for you here. Boise, Idaho. My husband Seahorse and I heard blade. a big crash at 5 a.m. Like something had fallen off of the roof. He <clears> found <throat> this feather mass on the ground just now. Said it feels like it has a membrane inside of it. This is in our side yard. About four feet of gravel between a fence and the side of the house. All right, let's take a look. Huh. Oh. It's a 
bird ball. Okay, show this to my wife. She's a zookeeper of 15 plus years. The inside very likely has fly eggs on it, and the feathers are likely from a duck. Down in the cutaway section gives it away. Hmm. But she's never seen a feathered mass grow off of a bird like this. So possible tumor that got pinched off the main body? It just oh. unfortunately grew that and it fell off? My friend well, found... Hmm. Well, I've seen... That's like. crazy. Well, yeah, there's some animals that can actually force tumors, like, on the outside of their body, and then they just, like, chew them off, and they, like, just spit them out or, like, let them fall off. <laughs> animals are weird, man. Also, I'm really glad that person is wearing balloons. Yes. Yeah, that is... I, that makes yeah. me happy to see, because I've seen other things where people are holding... Hey, man, check this without out! Without gloves, it's just like, oh, God, wash your hands. <laughs> this scaffold-like structure on a trip. There was a paintball slash airsoft field and a hotel nearby, but I'm confused about the purpose of this. Located in somewhere, Europe. Huh, that is actually quite Ooh. scary. Um, I don't know why Whoa. I can't... <coughs> looks, looks like, like, a... like something from, like, Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, either that or it looks like a really awesome jungle gym, like, natural jungle gym. Yeah. Dude, I would climb in that in a heartbeat if I were a kid. Also, another oh, thing too. That looks so unsafe. Why would you climb in that? Hey, I climbed in a metal one when I was a kid. Yeah, but that was actually built to be climbed in. I know, but I still this looks this looks like it could be possibly climbed. Yeah, either that or the branches would snap, or you'd pill yourself for it randomly. Also. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm ah. I'm like hell no. Run I was the gonna other say, way. live dangerously, live life. Stop looking at it. It looks like it's straight out of a horror movie set. It's a yeah. 3D maze used in kids' camps or other outdoor activity oh, clubs. It's a maze. Paintball, airsoft, trekking, etc. In a paintball oh. setting, it can be used to hold a flag or another capturable objective. Well, that makes Interesting. sense. Interesting. Okay. Solid metal kiss that was in our bag of candy cane kisses. Is this part of the machinery? That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> Definitely not a part of the machine. Since it's the same size and shape, I would say it's a QA gauge to help operators verify shape and portion size at a glance. I saw ah, this in my yard. Okay. Is this just a type of worm, or is there a parasite on it? I saw it breathing, and they have some sort of heartbeat, I think. So it is alive. Hmm. I guess, sorry, I gotta get real close here. Mm, those, oh. That's two worms boning. That's literally two yeah. worms boning. Yeah. They're in love? Uh, <laughs> that's two worms making more worms. Yes. Holy crap, I witnessed worm sex? Hell yes. yeah, dude. Isn't nature gorgeous? Also, also, I love the fact that deleted, deleted. This shows you how many people are just ashamed of their Reddit history, that they just delete their shit. Their comments remain, but nobody really knows who posted it. Found these in my cooked spaghetti. The sauce was canned. Oh, what in the world? Ew. Oh. They definitely look like rosary peas. Symptoms of poisoning include nausea, vomiting, convulsions, liver failure, and death, usually after several days. Don't, Don't eat, eat that, that spaghetti. Shit. Don't eat the and spaghetti. And if you already ate it, go to the doctor. Holy <laughs> shit. Not what I want to hear, man. My friend just moved into a new flat, and this is in her neighbor's garden. Oh, not in. It's her whole Holy garden. Holy huh. shit. You know, at first... I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. Look over on the left side. There's like a fucking skull with the. It, it's like one of those flower pots on the left side looks like a skull. And yeah. the way the pot's sitting, it looks like it has horns. Oh, yeah. I see it. There's one on the other side, too. Yeah. Oh my god. It, dude. This person is an probably an artist because. You got a Buddha. You got like a, a Buddha head here. You have uh, you have uh, various iconography here. You have this dude with the bloody shirt and the the mask, a butterfly, and various bushels of various color ranges, and one, two, three dog statues, and what I hope is a tortoise statue, or if not, a live tortoise, a live turtle back there. That's interesting. There's other turtle statue things. Are These? those not turtles? I maybe. I don't know. They those are probably like turtles. turtles. I think they are. There's just a lot of detail in this that I really want to do research on. Also, if that's not Buddha, I'm sorry. I'm. It's definitely not Buddha. <laughs> I just didn't want to correct you. I don't know what it is, but it's not Buddha. Hold on. Is that Ongbak? Uh, not Ongbok, but, uh... I was gonna say the Thai warrior? Oh! 
No, maybe it is. Maybe. I mean, the... the you could zoom in, but you can't. You can't really it, zoom. It looks similar from where you are. It, yeah, I, I think it's the beads on the head. Yeah. I think that's what makes it... Yeah, because this is the one from Ong Bak. Uh, yeah, Ong Bak Buddha head. Yeah. Also, it's an awesome film. Sklanch, you're like, whoa, <laughs> but let's see. Wild guess, but they're probably just having fun with a freaky garden. <laughs> yeah, right? I like that one. Sometimes it's not quite that deep. A massive wrench I inherited yeah. weighs 30 plus pounds. Novelty or functional? Hmm. I don't see how functional. it would be super oh, functional. Oh, that's cool. That's very <laughs> much functional. It looks like it probably was... Probably used for on a tractor or something. Railroads or like ships or something like that. Yeah, true, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the nuts that are that big, but I don't think this in particular would nuts. be the way to go about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> they put it's a for banana real. on Big it. bolts require big wrenches. Anchor bolts, large towers, etc. How many mm. dudes does it take to use, though? You have to, three. like, hang oh, off of it? Three Found in a forest Easily. in Sweden about a meter from the ground. Roughly 20 centimeters in size. Hard to the touch, but drips liquid when knocked. Ew. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. it's a fungus. Thank you for that. Oh, jeez. Looks oh. like a polypore fungus. Yeah. It's exuding excess moisture. Called gutation? I don't like that. Are my parents' neighbors no. engaging in psychological warfare? This is attached to a dolly, pointed in their yard, and sounds a very loud alarm twice a day for two minutes. What is it? Huh. Looks to be a vibrating Ooh. horn. Maybe 874 series. You're really getting down to series and you're thinking <laughs> Jesus. maybe it's made by Edward Signaling. Data sheet states an output of 103 dB. Jesus. These types of horns are usually used in individual settings where ambient noise is high. I would guess the neighbor has hooked it up to cause a disturbance or just to be a general nuisance. That's. I'm hmm. sorry, but I'm putting a rifle round straight through the middle of that thing if it keeps me up at night. Yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's bullshit. If they're if you know your neighbor's doing that, uh, if they've spent thousands of dollars on that thing, I don't care. Like that's that's bullshit. It's literally the only reason you put something like that up, in my opinion. Driving through Erie, Pennsylvania? Weird circle in the sky. Lots of folks pulled over to take pictures of it. Huh. Now, it's probably a troll smoking a cigar practicing his smoke rings. <laughs> a blown transformer smoke ring. Or that. Ooh. I like my explanation better. Found in Guam in shallow water. Three meter diameter disc. Top looks like polyester in a honeycomb shape that's fiberglass to flimsy aluminum disc. I'm stumped on this one. Never seen anything like it. All right, let's see. Whoa. Oh, that's Whoa. That, that that's is space trash. That's probably the most interesting thing yet. That is space trash. Saucer. That is absolutely a rocket part. Yeah, <laughs> that's space trash that fell in yeah. and float. Like, that's honeycomb pattern. Honeycomb pattern is prominent with uh, with rocketry, with rocket parts that's and stuff so like that. Cool. Oh, yeah. This probably, like, burned up on re-entry and just landed in, Gu landed in Guam. <laughs> Saw this in a forest in Germany. Don't go in. Don't you dare go mm. in. It's no. a fridge or an old-time cold room. Basically a room covered with dirt nope. for insulation. A root cellar. What is this thing we Probably found while renovating? We haven't touched it since my dad spiders. thinks it's an explosive. No yep. shit. <laughs> it's from World War II. About 10 inches long? It does look like one. Oh. Uh, Call the bomb dis disposal unit right now. Yeah. <laughs> that is a mortar shell. Mm -hmm. That is a mortar shell. You need to call the bomb Holy disposal shit. unit. Look at and all the rust on I know. I, even if, like, it's rusted through and, it's like, all blow. the powder is gone, yeah. still, I would not risk it. I wouldn't touch it either. It looks like a World War II British yes. mortar round. They did not use chemical weapons in World War II, so the filter is likely a high explosive. Oh, I see. I see. Call the EOD and don't touch it. Yes. Help identify this piece of bumper from a hit and run with a cyclist now in critical condition. All right, detectives, on the case. Mm. Right front from a 2009 Camry. God, Damn. Some of these people are insane, nice. man. I wouldn't be able to Good figure that shit. out. Found this small kettle years ago. Tried searching for a similar one, but I've always come up with nothing. Anybody have any idea why this has a unique shape? Well, it for scale. Oh, is that um? I don't think that's a kettle. Oh, that's not a kettle. That's a. <laughs> that's a piss bucket. <laughs> is it really? It is. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. 
well, do you pee in that thing? Um, that's a portable men's urinal for bedbound <laughs> patients. And wow. it's called, well, the pan. And yes, it's used to pee in when you can't get out of bed. It is sometimes also called, uh, oh, I see, the parrot due to its shape. Uh, I got you, I got you. Uh, I hope you haven't been using it as a kettle. That would be freaking <laughs> hilarious. Cones of Dunshire found in German supermarket, I guess? Or their hats for your gnome. It's a, well, that, full of candy and or school supplies that kids get on their first day of school. Oh. Forgot to write down that this is a German tradition. Well, that's good to know. A specific type of hammer from my work at a college in Scotland. I like that shape. It doesn't oh. seem right, but you know, there's something fun, of magical, it's magical. It is a blacksmith hammer. There you go. That was going to be my first guess. Okay. Blacksmith hammers have different styles of peens depending on the task <laughs> you want to accomplish. There are straight peen. If you held the hammer by the handle, the peen would be parallel Super to the ground. Mate. God. I'm sorry. I'm a child. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just too damn funny. Peen. Cross peen. Uh, I hate the word so much. Like, <laughs> I know, but yes! Still found in my dad's room. Uh, come on, Robin. Be a man. Say peen a few more times. Really hoping it's not a sex thing. I'm pretty sure you put those on boots. Yeah, yeah, those are yeah. yeah, those are boot. Yeah, basically they're ice grips. To give grip on ice. Oh, yeah. oh, thank God. Whew. I was afraid there myself. Jesus. Goat in a. Uh oh. Wonder what this is about. This is a late call for him. Hello. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Chad uh, and I have a wrestling event tomorrow, so. He just wanted to make sure that everything was good before, uh, you know, we uh, we eventually headed that way to where the to the event is. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. Field in Scotland appears to have had handlebars added to his horns. What? Who the hell did that? Mm. that uh, hold on. Having had goats no. before for a number of years, I'm confident this goat is a dumbass. <laughs> and after about the 900th time that farmer had to free this guy from a fence that he'd stuck his head through, horns and all, and couldn't get it back out, the farmer settled on this method of ensuring that the goat couldn't stick his head through far enough to get his horns snagged. Well, there you go. I found this award yeah. glued inside of a book while cleaning out a relative's mm. house. Can someone tell me which brand? And what award it is, please? All right, let me zoom in here. That that's the Soviet. Is that the Soviet gold star? Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's Soviet medal. Maybe they'll tell us. Sickle. Is it a Soviet Union medal? Yeah. It looks like it. Looks like it's been smuggled or hidden. Fifteen years of impeccable service of the USSR <laughs> Ministry Internal of Internal Affairs. Affairs. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That's really <laughs> interesting. What is this thing? It perfectly <coughs> fits in each other, and there was some sort of liquid in it. All right. Let's see. That looks like a. That's a uh, grinder, that's a, bro. That's a weed grinder. That's a grinder. Yeah. A bud grinder. It's an herb grinder, mostly for weed. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, what is this thing on this serial killer's head while he I hope was in my court? mom never yeah. sees this video or I'm going to have to answer how I knew that. Reasons. <laughs> I've never seen that before. He's partially deaf. It's basically a giant hearing aid. Sound amplifying headphones. Okay. Heavy mass hanging okay. on transmission cables. Wow. That really truly Ooh, is whoa. a heavy mass. What the sh? Okay. What is that? It looks like a fun. It looks like a fungal growth or something like that. I don't know. Why is it so? Like. That's massive. That. I'll say this: in the backwoods of Guest River. Uh, in my hometown of Wise, Virginia, there is a power line that was in between this row of trees, and the tree grew up and grew around it. So, whenever the landowner was going to cut down those trees, he realized, oh shit, the growth, it has, gr the tree has grown around the power line. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. And then basically I had to call the power company out there to see if they needed to take the line down or anything like that. And turns out it would have been too expensive. So instead the power company basically cut around it and left this massive hunk of wood hanging from the power line. <laughs> it's like, Damn. yeah. And it's still there. I saw it the other day whenever I was up back up in Wise helping my sister. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Wow. It is st I, I need I need to take a picture of that so that people believe me when I tell them about yeah. it. Yeah. Because it is unbelievable. Just like looking up and be like crazy. Just looking up at the power line and be like, that's a big hunk of wood up there. 
And this is an art intervention in a Brazilian university. This thing should be a meteor. Yes, it's intervention and not installation. Usually the term installation is used in closed spaces. Gotcha. Uh, what is this rodent that just climbed out of my toilet? What the hell are you? Yeah. you climbed out of the toilet? I always forget yeah. that that's possible. Well, let's see what Reddit has to say. The flat tail makes me want to say flying squirrel. They're super common in... I'm really bad with... If, if this England. is a, about a state, I'm just bad with them. New but England. nocturnal, so folks don't realize they're around. I'll also have or Nebraska. Guys for a rodent that size. To pull his legs apart, okay, and see if he has flaps, I guess. They also have more yeah, of a rat outline slash hind end than a gray, which matches your little buddy. An adult gray would also have gnarly claws, bigger feet, and I'm like 80% sure it's a flying squirrel. Poor dude. Yeah, he or she fell into the sewer vent on your roof. I have a ton of oak trees around my house, and after finding the second dead squirrel in my vent pipe, I went on the roof and installed a vent cap that's specifically made to keep out rainwater and rodents. It's actually very good to know about. Yeah. Weird, squirming, living Lovecraftian nightmare on our lawn chair this morning. Oh, that's just from oh, You're wow. That's a mod. For real, though, what in the world are you? That's Let's cool. see. Probably uh, this. Oh, that turns into a moth? Yeah. Apparently, that's a caterpillar with fuzzy false arms on its back. Ah, I see. We're looking at its belly. Gotcha. I found this squishy thing. Yeah. Hmm. There's also a decent chance it could sting. So. Are there, I wanted to know if they were poisonous. It. Yeah, I wouldn't test it. I don't know what it is, and I... I knew that was gonna happen. I'm pretty grossed out. Oh, oh dear. Sorry, it's just... Uh, I don't like... Bleh, things like that are super gross. Uh, it seems more like sweetener that has hardened. Something like molasses or some other ingredient that's hardened, like oh my Zambalco. God. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is salt, because that sounds realistic. Switch on the back of an old clock labeled Miracle Eye. What is this? Miracle Eye? Okay. Reduced sound when the room is dark. Oh, that name oh. doesn't make any damn sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Me and my parents... Silent mode would be a much more <laughs> effective name. Parents found this in our backyard earlier today. It reads, do not enter poison gas. It's on a circular concrete thing. Oh boy. That's a septic Whoa. tank. Mm -hmm. Methane is poisonous to humans. Yep. Waste, is pr waste produces methane. It's the cap to a septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. What is this tube full of balls in the wall in a home built in the mid-90s? So that read really weird. <laughs> it was like a bad poem for a second. And yeah, this is new to oh, me. Oh, whoa. a termite indicator. How how does it um, indicate? You know, sometimes huh? I just get more curious. Now I want to know yeah, how, how it's does it, how does it indicate termites. termites. My grandfather told us not to remove this when renovating. <laughs> a replica of the Mayan calendar. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that or no. do anything with it either. No. Oh, an Aztec calendar, excuse me. Funny thing, I remember a bunch of these a while ago being smuggled over the border and they were made of meth. I guess it's time uh. to test out that. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to break out the old testing kit. That Aztec calendar, huh? Found at the bottom of the lake. It's booze. I haven't died yet, huh? Well, I must say that's a first. Oh, you that's found a, a bottle cool of liquid bottle. Ooh, I love that bottle. decided to drink it? Since this was in Canada, could this be an ice wine? My wife and I had some while honeymooning in Canada, and it's very sweet and syrupy, and usually in the small uh, uh, half-liter bottles, excuse me, or 0.5 liter, but whatever. Arrived yeah. in the post for me. Small glass tubes with two tiny ball bearings in them. No idea and not something I ordered. Okay, um, I believe those are rattles that you can put inside of fishing lures so they make noise to attract yeah. fish. Mm. Thank you. Must be an eBay mix-up. My brother found this missile in the woods in Tennessee. Holy <laughs> crap. Holy <laughs> shit. shit. Damn. Oh, oh my god. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, imagine us finding that in our backyard, just being like, we're near Oak Ridge. They that's are a weapons really manufacturer. Cool. Looks like an Honest John short-range ballistic missile. But honestly, I highly doubt that a live one just lays around. But just make sure to contact your local authorities, even though it's probably just a dummy. Why is it called an Honest John short-range ballistic missile? Honest John? John's not that honest. What is this <laughs> scanner that a rooftop cop had at a protest? Seemed to be shining a green laser at certain people in the crowd. Okay, I don't know why that looks really funny, though. <laughs> He's like, I'm a police officer. I'm a shine on my white on you. <laughs> uh, picking out specific targets for ground police. It's easier to track an individual through a crowd from above. This may mm. be because they're armed or something else that makes them high priority. Yeah, Aww. they mark them 
they mark them for future reference. Hmm. Snipers are out of the question. Firing into a fast-moving ground mass of people would only end badly. Let's just move on. This purple sky in Southern California is seen at 1.30 a.m. and lasted for only about five minutes before fading away. Okay, but that's awesome, though. No? Oh, uh, that's or, cool. or it's bad. I think we're about uh, to find out. That color's been posted before. It's always been related to commercial pot growing. <laughs> grow lights. Wow. I knew there were farms around here, but I never knew that the grow lights were that. Yeah, that is Yeah, they're super bright. bright. What is this a reference? to growing cannabis posted with the title if you know you know y yes yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the truth they better hope the popo doesn't drop by while it's oh, them in a third place oh yeah yeah that's exactly what it is growing or mining cryptocurrency either way there's a lot of hash power in that room yes there <laughs> it is uh, they're paying out the ass for it yep okay so yeah Learned some interesting things. I mean, you know, learned about peens. <laughs> yes. Of course, we also know that Reddit basically are Cameron. some pretty damn good detectives. Yeah. Yeah. For, uh, you know, because I hope that they find out who hit that biker and uh, they they deal with him. I still uh, yeah. want to know what the band is for sure. Though. Yeah, that, yeah. I want to know what that is. I, I'm it's desperate like to know only, what that is. like, definitely unsolved one in the video. Yeah, like I said, I think it's Godzilla with a boner. <laughs> that... It looks like a seahorse. Or a seahorse. But horse. I couldn't figure out what the tail thing was, so that's why I didn't... I'm going with seahorse wielding a sword. See, yeah, seahorse... Ah, seahorse with a keyblade. Yeah, hmm. yeah, I can see that. Uh, well, hey everybody... Hopefully y'all enjoyed, uh, but for right now, that's going to do it. Uh, you can't, uh, like, oh. And Mr. Key's back. Yes, try not to bite the cable anymore. Well, anyway, everybody, uh, that's going to do it for this. Uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. If you want to see more from MK, feel free to click their name in the title of the video. This was, what is this thing? Why does it exist? Well, hopefully y'all had some of that answered here today. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick, and this is Vega. Yeah, and we'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.